another brand new uh, um, Android tutorial and here um, I'm teaching you about navigation component and today um, uh, I'm among all the topics uh, that I am discussing about all the best practices that you need to know about navigation component today I will teach you how to add a menu uh, add a menu item in the navigation bar so for example in my this uh, sample app uh, I don't have a menu here right so uh, I will teach you very easily how to create a menu by using a navigation UI component okay UI library and it's very easy okay it's uh, so i will try to add a new menu here which will actually open try to open this information uh, fragment which is uh, giving uh, about information about your app right so instead of adding um, here a button we will try to add the component in the menu okay so let's try to do that and what are menus actually menus are uh, the items this will fly a list list of items which uh, is created by uh, menu uh, XML resources and it contains items and usually you know in a design perspective menus are the things that is like it's like a um, components which are giving information about your mobiles or your menus have some other functionalities you know it's kind of a list of functionalities are all stored in a, a list uh, displayed in a list which is menu right so let's do that and let's first uh, use case is first create a menu, menu resource file how do we create the menu resource file go to project open in uh, Android uh, view uh, go to uh, your resources right and create a new Android resource file which is a overflow menu okay which is in the resource type menu okay cool so we created a new resource file that's a menu and now uh, we have to okay let me close the emulator let me go to design per point of view and easily you can you have to add the item to the menu so how do you add menu item just copy and paste here in your component tree here we have an item so attributes in the name of the item will be uh, info okay the title will be info uh, okay let me write information okay and the id yeah guys be careful about this id when you have to okay actually uh, if you go to the home uh, navigation the graph in which we are navigating we have this info fragment right the id of the fragment is info fragment so you have to always um, add the destination id whenever you um, give the id uh, in your overflow menu so it's a info fragment so just be careful about this uh, this concept that we have to give the id of uh, the respective uh, fragment okay like that you are trying to open so that is info fragment so our id will be also accordingly that is it will be info fragment uh, that is the and that is the id of the destination okay so just be careful in this concept and now we are good to go we created a app if you see the code we have a menu with the item the id that is the destination id and the title right and now uh, let's go to the where is the home fragment okay our menu is created we also add the item to the menu now we have to call the set has option menu that tells the android that your fragment has option menu okay so and also guys there is a note that i wanted to tell you because uh, as you see that we have a home fragment actually okay we have a activity that is a main activity and then main activity has a, a navigation host which is actually hosting the um, the home fragment uh, and uh, navigation host has um, is hosting actually the entire uh, navigation and uh, the starting point of the navigation is the home fragment right so the idea is if you create the navigation in um, main activity i mean like if you create a sorry if you create a menu in the main activity then this is uh, the menu is gonna last 
overall wherever it like uh, the to the entire application that means this is the the container activity right like that is hosting the menu if you are creating a if you are set uh, if you are setting the content like set uh, menu okay okay if you are setting the menu here then you are entirely hosting the menu in the entire app so you can uh, the idea that i wanted to note that if you add menu to the container activity it is displaced everywhere in the fragment that contains it so uh, for the moment we want to just display in the particular fragment that is home fragment and which is um, actually the starting point of the navigation right so i want to actually add a navigation uh, uh like a menu here right so for that i what i have to do is i have to set um as option menu to true okay uh so this is telling android that uh we have a menu okay we have option menu but if you do this uh same let's see okay you cannot set the option here uh, okay no problem uh okay so yeah so just don't do it in the main activity just do it in the mm, uh, home fragment that i was wanted to tell you right this was the note and um the idea is uh okay now uh we have to override these two methods that is on create option menu i told you the keyword is control o uh and to create option menu right so we create the option menu here okay and uh, we have to override this method what we do is uh, the we inflate inflator dot inflate we have to inflate the menu that is uh, the menu dot uh, overflow menu and passing this menu this menu item okay this is the id and the uh, this is the menu and uh, yeah we also have to override another method which is uh, on option item selected that is um, options item selected you can also actually do it in this way and what we are doing here is we are using the uh, calling uh, connect our navigation ui uh, uh, we connect to the navigation ui on navigation distance selected uh, the item and item okay navigation controller right so that's it otherwise we have to use the default default uh, on our item selected options item selected so whenever the option item is selected we have to uh, use uh, connect this navigation um, uh, destination to the particular destination that as you know we are connecting to the particular destination that is our destination is info fragment right so that's the concept you know this is very uh, like uh, easy concept like you are using you are uh, using a navigation um, ui library to navigate you you find the controller then you um, use the controller to uh, guide to the uh, selected destination and uh, I guess now everything is good to go so if you run the app uh, oh sorry as you see we have a previously we don't have a menu so there must be a menu here cool as you can see we have a um, menu here options menu here then when you click we have one uh, menu item that is information if you click the information we in, uh, the navigation ui is uh, uh, like um, navigating to the required destination that is a uh, info fragment right so you can move back 
and that's it that's what the simple implementation of navigation uh, like a, a menu uh, yeah, using a navigation ui library okay and uh, that's it thank you